Hi, I'm Josh Harris with Queen and Colony Bee Company, and we are starting a new series on our YouTube channel about making money with a small-scale beekeeping operation. This is going to be the first part of the series, and I'm going to cover is it even possible to make money um, with small-scale beekeeping. Now I want to start by just giving a little bit of my story, how I got into beekeeping. I kind of stumbled into it. I was working a job at a pastor, as a pastor at a church, and we ended up having a swarm of bees um, move into a tree in our parking lot, and we were trying to figure out what to do. Um, we were going to call a pest control person, and then I thought to myself, you know what, rather than having these bees killed, I'm going to try to catch these bees and figure out how to start beekeeping. Now, I did know one person who was a beekeeper, so I called him up. He kind of gave me some pointers. He told me I had to go through the state um, of Florida, the um, Ag Department. Um, so I called them up. I got a hold of the, the head of the apiary department, and he gave me some um, really good um, pointers on how to get started. So I ended up um, fashioning a bee suit of sorts out of a mosquito net, uh, knocked the bees into a bucket, brought them home, and um, put them in a bee box that I had made. Now at that point I had no idea what a bee box was supposed to look like. I just looked online and kind of figured out the shape of one, put some wood together, dropped the bees in there, um, kept them on my side yard, and then I called a queen breeder because the state told me I should have the colony requeened and I set up a date for buying a queen. Now the day before I was supposed to get that queen he told me to go in, find the old queen and kill her. And I had no idea what a queen bee was supposed to look like, but I went to the box and all the bees had flown away. And so I called the queen breeder and I told him, hey, I'm not going to need a queen anymore. Those bees flew away. And he said, well, did you have foundation on your frames? And I was like, um, what's foundation in frames? I knew nothing about beekeeping. And so the queen breeder said, well, if you really want to get started, I will sell you a complete colony of bees and that's the best way to get started. So I met him up in Dade City um, at a Flying J um, gas station, picked up a colony of bees, brought it home, put it in my backyard, and I started learning how to be a beekeeper. I bought a couple, or I, um, I took some, checked some books out of the library. They, there was two books on beekeeping, read those, and, and just started um, trying to figure it out based on that knowledge that I had from those two books. Now, um, as time went, on, I really uh, developed a, a passion for beekeeping. I couldn't wait to get into my backyard colony. When they got strong, I ended up splitting them. I um, did some bee removals um, for people I knew, and I ended up with about five colonies in my backyard, and I was just really hooked on beekeeping. Now, we eventually got a nectar flow, and we started making honey with our colonies. And our first harvest, we had um, several gallons of honey and that was more than we were going to eat so we started giving some away to friends and family and the word got out that we had local honey and we came to find out there were a lot of people in our area um, which is Tampa Bay Florida we live in St. Petersburg who wanted local honey and so we started selling a little bit of honey and we sold it really cheap I think at that time we were selling two pound jars for eight dollars and um, and there was much more um, demand than we had supply and so as time went on, our family was growing. Um, at that time, we had our number six child on the way. And um, we lived in a little two-bedroom, one-bathroom house that um, we had bought in 2006, right before the housing market crashed. And we were kind of stuck in that. And um, being a pastor, I wasn't making a lot of money. I was making enough to pay the bills, but not enough to save money. And um, so I decided to start a sideline honey business. And so I started growing my colonies. I had up to 12 in my backyard. Um, something happened and all those colonies crashed. I lost them all. And so I decided not to keep them all at one place. And so I bought some more nukes and started making splits, um, grew my apiary to about 40 colonies. And I started enlisting friends and family's backyards to keep bees in. And at that time we called our sideline business Harris Honey. And we began um, just growing and selling honey and starting to do some uh, markets around the area. And we were able to actually save up enough money to build an addition on our home, which we completed in 2016, right as we had our sixth child. Now, at that time, there was a lot going on with the church. Ended up going through a huge church split. And it was just really not a good environment for myself or my family. And so I decided to quit 
the job that I had had for 18 years and jump full time into beekeeping. Now I had no experience and I still have no experience with the commercial side of beekeeping. I had just been doing backyard beekeeping and scaling it up a bit and it was working. And so I thought, why not just scale it up even more? And so I began to grow from about 80 colonies um, and grew it up to 200 colonies back in 2017 when I began um, doing full-time beekeeping. And that's when we changed our name from Harris Honey to Queen and Colony Bee Company. And so um, we grew and yet we still continue to use the same methods of beekeeping that I had basically learned from trial and error. For the, I'd been beekeeping um, as a hobby for about 14, 15 years at that point. And, um, and we jumped into full-time beekeeping. Now, it, it has definitely not been easy. It has been a struggle. Um, getting started was a struggle, um, but because we were able to put that addition on the home and with the housing market going back up, we ended up taking a home equity line of credit out, and that's what we funded starting our business. And, um, and at this point, our business is self-sufficient, and it's actually um, providing for our family. We have seven children at this point, and um, the beekeeping business is our primary source of income. The only other thing I do is I do a little bit of commercial fishing on the side. And the main reason for that is just um, sometimes, especially in winter and summer, um, the beekeeping business can slow down a little bit. So it gives me something else to do and I enjoy it. it gives me a break from getting stung by bees, but most of our income comes from our bee business. And so um, I wanna just break down a little bit of what we did last year, 2021. Um, right now it's February of 22 and we're having a great start to this year. But with the pandemic, we did face some challenges. We um, had been growing since we started Queen and Colony in um, I think it was 2018 we started it, in September 2018 I believe. And so we had been trending up, um, we had been building momentum and then when 2020 hit, the pandemic hit, um, we had a bunch of stuff closed down. A lot of the stores that sold our honey closed down temporarily. And so we kind of hit a wall and um, that was our worst year. And it's really hard when you pour everything into an endeavor, all your energy, all your strength to get that momentum and then you lose it. It's really hard to get back up. And so last year was just getting back up and, um, and we had um, a year that was trending up, definitely better than 2020. And um, last year our... Um, Gross sales were $61,869.80 um, gross sales for all of our um, bee business. Now to break those down from, um, from that, honey sales were $37,289.80 in honey sales. Um, bee removal services, one thing that's unique about here in the Tampa Bay, Florida area is we have a lot of feral bees and that's because we have the Africanized bee. And so I know in a lot of places there's not really a market for doing bee removals and charging, but there is here. And so we made $12,650 on bee removal services last year. And then um, nucleus colonies. We make a lot of um, nucleus colonies. Some of them we keep for ourselves, but we sell a lot. And we, um, we sold $9,425 worth of nucleus colonies last year. We do some beekeeping education. Since the pandemic, that's definitely slowed down, but, but it's starting to pick back up. And so last year we did $1,475 in um, sales that were tied to beekeeping education, whether that's um, presentations at schools are doing personal consultations with other beekeepers or um, beekeeping classes and then queen sales um, I am a queen breeder I don't breed a lot of queens or I have in the past most of them go to myself and to my nucleus colonies but I did sell a few last year we did $1,475 in um, queen sales and this year um, we're on track to, to sell a lot more queens I actually have um, a lot more orders than I sold all year last year because it, I wasn't focusing on it last year. And so um, that made up a total of $61,869.80. And then expenses, of course, we have expenses and um, including fuel, facility rentals, equipment, beekeeping equipment and such, um, bottling costs, labeling, um, 
I haven't got all those numbers down yet. I'm still working on that, but it was around 14,995. And so last year, our net profit was around $46,874 and 80 cents. And so for me, that's pretty good for something that was just a hobby, became a passion and, um, and in the process of pursuing as a full-time business. Um, it's enough for us to get by and we are continuing to grow. Um, we are starting really strong this year, so we are, we are excited about what's to come. And one thing I do want to clarify is what I'm referring to as small scale beekeeping. I do not consider myself to be a commercial beekeeper in the sense that I'm not uh, moving bees around on flatbed trucks with forklifts. I don't do any pollination contracts. Um, I don't move my bees around much at all. Usually they just stay on location at their um, apiaries in the city um, around the Tampa Bay area. And um, I try to currently not have more than 150 production colonies. Most commercial operations will have at least 400 or more colonies. Um, I try to keep 150 production colonies, and those are colonies that I'm trying to produce honey with. I'm making splits and such, and I also keep um, nucleus colonies and mating nukes on top of that. But as far as my honey operation, um, I'm usually between 100 and 150 colonies that I'm running. And so um, in the next episode, I'm going to break down um, more in more detail of um, how to start and grow a profitable small scale beekeeping operation and just share some of the things that have worked for us. And, um, and we're living it and we're experiencing it. And we are very thankful for our bees and the opportunity we have to do something we love doing and also to provide for our family with it. So hope you guys um, enjoy this series. Hope you um, stay tuned. Please subscribe, like, and um, we are looking forward to sharing what is happening in our lives and in our business with you guys in the future.